Don't forget, don't forget to press the recording button. This is going on, of course. So, we're gonna react to this video. Uh, Skizzle, what's his name? Yeah, Vogue PlayStation says boycott Ghost of UT Assassin's Creed. We're just gonna stick to this Ghost of UT because we're not gonna make this video longer and my boss is gonna kill me. Of course, like the BBC Samurai situation, Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed, Star Wars, Concord, Fair Games like Concord 2.0, Dustborn, Concord 3.0. Conquer 4, all of these Bruh. games are just not gonna do well. They're not doing good, right? Like the video Yo. if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for four likes on the video, guys. But four apparently likes. this also went down. Shout out to Vera Dark, but Sean Layden. Do you remember Sean Layden? And I'll, I'm be, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I used to give examples of Sean Layden all the time. And genuinely, I have to agree that Sean Layden is gonna spreading it the industry have no idea what's really going on why so many gamers are so upset with the decisions that they're making and projects they're green lighting and now sean yeah. Layden, a former playstation boss is melting down over the fact that people are criticizing the lead actress of the new ghost of tsushima sequel ghosts of yote really? i have a few different things to show off but before i get into the topic if you enjoy the <laughs> yo the craziest part here is that like this is like female on female like crime right now right oh, so she a female and uh gonna be criticizing the the female uh, in ghost of uh, yote is that what it's called guys it's gonna get bumpy out here the road tonight is gonna be bumpy, bumpy man so definitely put your seat belts on and also if you guys do you know watch the content here boo -boo. yep supporting through patreon or youtube memberships now i loved ghost of tsushima i thought it was absolutely me too i have watched the gameplays on youtube it looks awesome i'm gonna buy a pc to play that even though it's on playstation and now it's released on pc i'm a gamer so I knew everything about games, Absolutely even though I haven't played it. Fantastic. And the first teaser that we got for Yote uh -oh. doesn't... Looks good. It looks good. Like, the graphics looks good. Look half bad. The problem lies within the fact that they have picked a radical activist as the lead actress. Will yeah, for context, this was very, very crazy. So the actual actress of this character they have in the game is blocking people, blocking gamers Why? left and right. Uh, also is linked with Sweet Baby Inc. <gasps> Dude, come on. There's like connections, and if you know one Sweet thing, Baby like uh, gamers, they they don't like Sweet Baby Ink. They don't. And I mean, there's a reason for it, folks. There's a reason for they it. They destroy games. They have destroyed so many games, so many franchises. Studios have shut down. Your prime example, Saints Row Studio. <laughs> Studios have shut down. That's Saints Row was one of the most offensive game of all time. Saints Row 1, 2, 3, 4, I guess, are something gigantic. That's not a video game. That's something else. You're a superhero and you're the president of the United States and blah, blah, blah. And you do stupid stuff, which makes no sense. And it's so offensive. Not to me, but to the green hair ones. Suicide Squad, Justice League game, right? Almost had to show. Rocksteady. Why did you make that game? You made the best Batman games ever, and then you make the worst Suicide Squad game? Shut down Come their on. studio. Almost. They have not so far. They have fired at least half of their employees. As Thank well God. Aaron, but they have destroyed so many projects. So, of course, gamers are not going to like it, man. Of course, gamers are going to be sent to coma when they get to hear that crap. But other than that, graphics looking amazing. I mean, yeah, it's close it to Tsushima. Uh, it's Sucker Punch, right? So... Second summer at second punch. Really had to do that. <laughs> that crying through in the final product. We have no idea at this point. We haven't seen enough to judge, but people are simply pointing out her yeah. history, and he's now melting down, saying, "If you don't like it, don't buy it." Really, that's what you want to say. All right, not buying it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This yeah, is a That crazy. Park Place article, it says the former Sony chairman, Sean Layden, told gamers uh, if they are uninterested or don't like the Tsushima sequel, uh, they should not buy it. Yeah. He shared his comments while reacting to YouTuber Endemians. By the way, I love the Lara Croft game. Just pointing it out. So I don't have a problem with strong female characters. I just have a problem with bad writing. I muted the video. I'm going to go back 10 seconds.
comments while reacting to YouTuber Endemian's initial reaction to the game's trailer. No. He wrote Ghost of Tsushima sequel. No! No way! Yo! Yo, Endymion is considered like a toxic gamer, right? Like, yeah. so Endymion TV is labeled as a toxic gamer. In fact, like, myself included. <laughs> what am I even talking about, bro? What am I even talking about? I'm probably labeled as a toxic gamer too, but in my defense, this is what I gotta say, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna do it too. Listen, man, I'm brown. I'm brown too. I'm brown, so you better not label me as toxic, okay? I, you better fight to get my representation in video games, okay? Yes! That's my comeback. You have to do that. That's my comeback right now. That's my comeback right now. Yeah, you're gonna cancel a brown man, bro? Come on. What is you, wrong you with you? You're racist. You should yourself, man. How dare you gonna, how dare you gonna think about canceling a brown man like me, man? But to be fair though, like all the gamers are getting labeled as toxic right now. It's crazy, bro. It is insane. Just because we want a good game. Just because we we think that, uh, you know, games can be created and games, games don't need have... to constantly have DEI and the woke crap in it. Games can just be about gameplay. Good gameplay, good story. good story, good progression system, and you know, a fun playing, fun loving uh, game made by passionate devs. Gamers believe that, and I think they can create something like that, right? So, yeah. Equal stars a Japanese woman samurai warrior without actress because of course it does they can't help themselves until every franchise that was built on masculinity is replaced with women. Now, I like his YouTube content, yo. Don't get me wrong. I personally am going to not fully disagree. <laughs> She's based. Yo. Yo, she based. She based, bro. She based. She get it, though. She get it, though. She get it. Because we have seen so many companies take established franchises and established male characters and replace them. But on the flip side... Saints Row. Gears of War. Oh shit, I forgot. I'm gonna add that. Probably gonna add that. More and more games. Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. And pro even more. Like, there are a bunch of. I don't remember though. I personally believe that Jin's story was over. Yeah, of course, they could have milked him for all he was worth. And while I would have loved him to return, I don't mind having a game set hundreds of years later with a new character because she clearly has his mask. She's clearly going to be referencing him. Like, he is going to be central to her story from what okay. itself is that it looks really great. Uh, Ghost, the first game, was visually stunning. And it this is. is no different. But it was a very short teaser that just made you feel nostalgic because it's similar to the first game we don't know if there will be narratives pushed in this content we don't know if it will be garbage but i don't have a problem with having a lead female protagonist i know a lot of other people do not either though it is definitely good to be I, yeah even i don't have a problem with it but of course like people are noticing this and even i'm noticing this a lot of people are noticing this like the push of getting men out right like last of us 2 what happens to a man i'm talking about joe gets killed Gets killed brutally, though. One of the worst death possible. Well, gets killed. <laughs> gets killed. <laughs> gets killed just because he's a man. Damn, man. Damn. Ghost of Tsushima Damn. was a story about a man. We're getting. We're getting a sequel with a female. A female. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Okay, we need to talk about this because I'm not a big fan of a Ghost of, uh, not big fan, I mean not a big player of Ghost of Tsushima series, but I'm a big Assassin's Creed fan, huge, huge one, Assassin's Creed 1, 2, uh, Brotherhood, Revelation, uh, 3, 4, Rogue, Unity, Syndicate, and then, and then, after Syndicate, I think that was Origins, and then some, the Greek thing, and Mirage. And it's, pff, like, I can't see this. Mirage was pretty bad, though, but it was not woke, just bad story.
They put up this is bulk. This is samurai bulk. made him gay. Yo, what? No way, bro. Okay. So I'm just. Come on. I have, I have to search about this. Okay. Okay, there's a there's a thing. So Assassin's Creed Shadows developer Ubisoft. Many many minutes later, Nao and Yasuke can be played as LGBTQ plus characters. Assassin's Creed Shadows is upcoming 14th game in the main title franchise. Three hours later. So in a blog, May 15, by the game developers studio, Ubisoft company has appeared to confirm that both protagonists in Assassin's Creed Shadows have the capability to LGBTQ plus view the game rolling play mechanics. Yo, what? It goes on to confirm that romantically, the Assassin's Creed Shadow protagonist will get also attract and be attracted to different types of people. Through a pair, pair, players will get to experience a multitude of relationship. Yo, this this guy is gay. Come on. I thought he was just black, and that's why people are angry. Or but they made him gay. Yo, you cannot make gay in sixteen hundred. A black guy gay in sixteen hundred. That's not possible. And I thought these two are like father and daughter kind of relationship. Like Ellie and Joel. They're fucking each other. Wow. I did not knew that. That thing broke me. I might buy the game though. I'm kidding. Made him gay. Maybe. Right? And, and here's the thing though, right? Like, we're talking about Yasuke, a real life person. If he was gay in real life, then it makes sense to make him as he was in in the game too, right? I'm not against that, right? Like, for for example, if he was gay in real life, yeah, make him gay in the game, right? But he was not. But these stickers were like, okay, it's a man. It's a black man. Let's Let make that, him right? gay. Ubisoft. And of course, like, we're going to get down to the Ubisoft. In fact, Ooh. let's just get down to it. Okay. So yeah, this video is just about the Ghost of Yote controversy and we're gonna cover the Assassin's Creed controversy in the next video. Uh, let's not make this video longer so that my boss will kill me. Oh, hell no! You cannot kill me. You cannot. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and make sure to like, share and subscribe. Thank God.